April the 18th, 2001, is a great day on which the decade-long efforts of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, were put to the severe and ultimate test. Yes, it was the day on which the first developmental flight of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle, GSLV in short, took place from the Sri Harikota range, popularly known as Shar, situated on the east coast of India. GSLV is a three-stage vehicle. It is 49 meters tall and weighs 401 tons at liftoff. The first stage consists of a solid propellant booster, one of the biggest of its kind in the world, as the core, with four liquid strap-ons around it. While the second stage is a liquid stage, the third stage is a cryogenic stage using liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as propellants. The spacecraft and the equipment bay that houses the onboard processors, navigation and guidance system, vehicle telemetry, etc., are mounted above the cryogenic stage. They are encapsulated in a payload fairing which protects them from hostile flight environment during vehicles ascent through the atmosphere. Each of the stages is connected by an interstage which also contains the necessary avionics for controlling the stage. Finally, during the last phase of countdown at T minus 4.6 seconds, the L40 strap-ons ignite. Only after confirming that their performance is normal, the launch computer commands the release of launcher hold release system and permits the core solid booster to ignite exactly at the count of zero. GSLV performance is monitored in real time in the Mission Control Center. Within 17 minutes from liftoff, the GSLV completes its mission of injecting the satellite into the geosynchronous transfer orbit.